Marcus Aurelius once said, don't fear death, but instead fear that you have not lived at all. Most people on this world only live in fears, in anger, or in other negative emotions. And when it comes to essential parts of life, like a heavy disease, or when it comes closer to the death, they are the very first to panic. How to really live? With the help of philosophy and psychology, we will investigate and consider death to really enjoy life and maybe even find purpose. Most people just live their life and they don't consider about death. And there is another thing in some cultures, death is a taboo topic. This is also not good, so all people try to avoid considering death. But considering death, that thing, what nobody can avoid, is the most important topic to consider because death makes you weak because nobody can avoid it and to confront yourself with a thing that you can't avoid with a thing which let appear you helpless makes you at the end really stronger a person who overcame the fear from death is mentally so strong that also no other fears will appear and this person then is really free to think about life, to consider what is really important in life, to think realistic, but also to think realistic about death. Because it's a fact that we are confronted with death one day, and to think deeply about it is really a thing which brings you so much forward. But also it is good to feel it. I have once found a death meditation where I felt if I would die. That was the greatest experience because this also makes you at the end stronger. Also the debate in death book besides mentioned it, that it is good to do this kind of death meditation. But I read it afterwards by accident. I found it myself because I was in a critical situation and I tried to meditate. And this brought me to create a death meditation. And when you have thought deeper about death or when you have meditated death, and you go on the path of true self-development, maybe in best case on the path to the enlightenment, then you begin really to live. Even before the enlightenment came, first of all, you create sense in your life. You think about life, okay, death will definitely come, but we don't know when and what to do with the time we still have. Marcus Aurelius also said, do not act as if you have 10,000 years to waste. Death stands at your elbow. Take the rest of your lifetime as unexpected bonus time. And that we will do after we have investigated the death of deep thinking, of meditating about death, both. And after then you create your life. You think about purpose. You consider what could you do with the rest of your given time. You set priorities. What is really important in life? Can you abolish some things? Or should you follow other things? And of course, it becomes clear that the enlightenment is an essential part and that we have to make choices in our life and don't waste time with the wrong things, like hanging on the phone, hanging with the wrong people and so on. Wrong things and wrong people are shown up in the following quote by Mark Twain. The fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die anytime. Actually, this you can also use when you consider an enlightened, who really fully lives, who has reached the highest goal and then really is alive. But all the rest, the sleeping people, and the more unconscious one is, Unconsciously, they have even fear from life. They are not able to create even purpose because, of, first of all, they have not considered death. And this quote especially shows when you live in the wrong lifestyle, like a hedonistic lifestyle, the wrong here and now, when people think, oh, we have to use time, we have to use every second, we have to do so many things, instead of relaxing and just feeling, living the here and now. They are doing so much things in the now, creating a wrong here and now. 
the quote, a man who fully lives is prepared to die anytime. These people are not prepared to die anytime because whenever they think about death, when they are so hedonistic, so hanging in life, so hanging in following things, loving entertainment, whenever it comes to the thought of death or to topics like that, they are the very first ones who fear. These are also the very first ones who panic when a crisis comes, like a pandemic or something. These people are the very first one who fears from everything. They believe they truly live. And they tell people that is the lie. You must have this and that. And you must read this and that. And then you will really live. But these people, it shows up when there comes a crisis. These people are the very first who react with fear or with panic. Those ones you can forget, never follow them. Because those ones are not developed. They only appear so on the surface. And for them especially, it is good to consider death. But maybe you have already considered and you are so far. And at a certain point, suddenly the opposite happens and thinking of death can even block you. I don't mean the blocks from religions, which can create fear also. So when you are dead, after death, things happen. You maybe can come in hell or these things like from religion. Of course, they can also create fear and oppression. That is not good. But I mean other things. I mean the more you are developed, it can happen that when you think of death, you manifest something. Because you, the more you are developed, you know that your thoughts are very powerful. And whatever you think happens. And you can even influence others or can even influence things around you. And because these happenings are taking place, it is dangerous to think about death. For me, it even happened that it made me very ill. First, considerations about death were very good and helpful. But later on, when I developed and developed, suddenly when I was in this manifestation thing and all these spiritual things worked, suddenly thinking or considering death caused the opposite and was not helpful anymore. But besides that, and maybe not everyone is able to manifest and not every time manifestation is possible for even the same person who can manifest. It can happen after a few hours only that manifestation abilities doesn't work anymore. It depends. It's always different and we never know when they work or not. But there is another thing and this is pressure about the enlightenment. Because when I consider death, I tried while meditating to do that few weeks ago again and again and I was thinking it could be good and helpful but it was not because the thing was it caused pressure it caused pressure oh when I die we don't know when it is but I have to reach the enlightenment soon and this pressure that I have to reach the enlightenment soon caused so much extra pressure that there was the meditation block which actually prevent enlightenment and that was a big obstacle. And so considerations about death from a certain point on your development, you have to abolish. Unfortunately, you still have to recommend them for people who are a few steps behind you and who you want to help. But for yourself, you can let go even thoughts about death. And another quote from the ancient Greek desert monks. The very first monks which lived in a very lonely seclusion. Each and everyone had their own small house. They are not living. That was the time before monasteries were found. And there are scriptures of them called Apuftekmata. And in those ones, I have read that once one of these monks said, Live always so, as if material things were endless and as if your soul was limited. Actually, when you think logically, it's the opposite. The soul is eternal and the material things are limited. But he said only to consider for your mind, you should live the opposite. Because when you consider the soul would end soon, you would also consider more about having good goals, setting priorities, living in the here and now, really live doing things contemplative. And at the same time, of course, if you treat the things so as if they were endless, you treat them 
with more care and that also supports to live more in the here and now. Hope this video could help some. If you want to know about the death meditation, please let me know down below in the comments. Have a nice week. See you soon. Bye.